everybody and welcome back. Who wants to hear more about the hottest beauty buzz of the moment? And that is this brand new product from The Ordinary. This is 0.2% retinal emulsion and it's a retinoid and in my opinion it's the strongest and the best value for money retinoid that's currently available which is big news and I already know that you're hearing about it because you follow all the influences that I do and it is truly a beauty buzz moment and it's interesting because a lot of you said do you like it have you tried it tell me more so that's what this video is all about now why is it exciting now if you haven't heard of retinal before its full name is actually retinaldehyde and what's interesting about it is it is the next metabolic step on from retinol which you all know about so traditionally in skincare back in the day back in my day we had retinol esters now, if they are a super weak form that your body then has to convert from a retinol ester to a retinol to a retinal to the active form of vitamin A in your skin called transretinoic acid. Now, you'll notice I was stepping up there. So retinol esters are still available, but retinol was a beauty buzzword probably about two or three years ago. And then what happened was as you got used to working through retinol esters to retinol, you wanted more, right? I know I wanted more. And that's where retinaldehyde came to market. Now, the thing with retinaldehydes is they're super expensive and they're super expensive because they are unbelievably unstable. Just as retinol is, it has a tendency to oxidize, which is why we use it at night. It doesn't like sunlight. It doesn't particularly like oxygen, hence why it's in this beautiful, totally sealed tube. So the only problem with retinol was that it was available from maybe two or three brands, but it was expensive. Enter the ordinary, the company that absolutely revolutionized beauty, that democratized beauty. I've been a huge fan for ages. Let me show you what it's like. So your skin has to do less hard work to activate this to become transretinoic acid. And we all know what transretinoic acid does. It's the prescription product that's available retinoic acid or tretinoin is the brand name and that is it tackles fine line and pigmentation it helps boost collagen and elastin production it helps with sort of pigmentation issues with pore issues it can even work against breakouts and blemishes it's basically the what i always call it the cheerleader of your skin so it's the thing that basically kicks your skin back into rebalance back into a healthy metabolic process now let me show it to you because the one thing you need to be warned about retinol is it's strong and it's bright yellow now at this point i'm going to drop in a video of me actually applying this so i can show you the texture it's a beautiful lightweight emulsion it is quite yellow but that is because that is the color of retinaldehyde it just sinks in gorgeously now it being the ordinary it's completely unfragrant super hydrating instantly plumps the skin and feels really comfortable retinal is not for the faint-hearted it's for people like me that have been around the block and have worked their way up through that pathway now the ordinary have also got you covered if you want a beginner retinol and i would probably recommend 0.2 percent retinol from the ordinary, if that's you. They have the new generation hydroxypanacolone retinoic, which is the gran active retinol. Of course, they were the first people to bring that to market as well, many, many, many years ago. And they have retinols. I recently mentioned the 1% retinol in squalene on TV as being the best value for money, 1% retinol on the market. But if you wanted to go stronger, now they have you covered. So how does it fit into my routine? Well, Everybody knows I love the glycolipid cleanser. This was probably my absolute favorite high street cream cleanser of last year. It's beautiful, it's creamy. It basically melts away all your makeup. It respects your barrier function. I personally use it with a microfiber cloth. It gets rid of every scrap of makeup and then I rinse it away at night. It leaves your barrier intact, but cleanses your skin super gently. Then I would go in with my 0.2% retinol and I'm loving it. I apply it to my face right around my eyes because I'm a pretty tough cookie but if you're new to it obviously work your way up from one or two nights a week try to avoid the eye area I actually then reapply a pump down onto my neck and chest anything that's left over goes on the back of my hand but that's because I know how great a product this is and I also know where I've got my signs of sun damage because this is what this is doing it's basically reversing your signs of sun damage then because it's a lightweight emulsion, you might want some extra moisturising factors. My absolutely favourite high street moisturiser of all time is the Ordinary NMF, natural moisturising factors. It's basically a tick list of everything your skin needs to hydrate itself, 
It's got a beautiful mix of humectants to lock in water, emollients to keep your skin smooth and soft, and then it's got a little bit of an occlusive in it to lock everything in place. It's beautiful. You can use it morning and night. You can sandwich all of your retinols with it from the 0.2% right the way through the Grand Active, right the way through to the 1% right the way through to the brand new retinol. You can put it underneath, you can put it on top. Personally, I put it on top. So I leave my retinol on for a couple of minutes, clean my teeth, last thing at night, and then I go in with the natural moisturizing factors. They really are gold standard products for me. They are always in my beauty cupboard. And now I have a brand new one to join it. So this is 0.2% retinol emulsion from The Ordinary. As I said before, and this is no small claim, it is the strongest and best value retinoid on the market for sure. You literally have the strongest product on the market before you step up to prescription skincare, and it's really reasonably priced. I've kept the best bit to last, right? It's £15.90. And I've been testing this tube, and I think this tube would last between a month and six weeks. So what can you expect from this little beauty? Well, I noticed an instant smoothness on my skin after just one use. By the time you get to the bottom of the bottle, the ordinary I promise that it will tackle your dark spots as well. I also noticed an increase in the luminosity of my skin, the glow, and then I think over the long term, retinaldehyde is your key ingredient to tackle fine lines, crow's feet, forehead lines, uneven skin tone, just all those signs of sun damage that we all know about by the time we get to my age. And basically we sunbathed too much when we were younger. I'll put all of the details of all of the products down below, but truly this is an exciting product. It's the biggest beauty buzz so far of 2024.